So this is a big story that I just recently found out about, and it has to do with a missing person in Virginia. Um, and they are now blaming the the husband for the missing person, which is his wife. Ding, 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 ding. It usually ends up happening like that in most of these cases. You know what I mean? But this is... Uh, this is big. Let's tune into the video. He claimed he last saw his wife 22 days ago. And this morning, Naresh Bot was walked out of his Manassas Park home in handcuffs after police searched his home for hours, looking for any evidence of 28-year-old Mamta Kafli Bot. Shortly after the husband was taken into custody, the couple's one-year-old daughter was carried out by police, covered in a yellow blanket. Yet this story's biggest mystery tonight remains just that. This is an ongoing investigation. Is she alive, is she alive or dead? We don't know. We don't know. Earlier this week, with no word on Mamta's well-being, friends shared pictures celebrating her daughter's first birthday. And today, neighbors watched as the girl was carried out of the home. I was glad that the baby was away from him because obviously I've always thought that he did something. Because a mother wouldn't leave her baby. He definitely wouldn't miss her baby's first birthday. So. Mamta is a pediatric nurse. Talk about evil. Wow. Pure, poor, poor soul, man. Poor soul. Poor soul, man. 22 days, you cannot find, can't even find the body. Former lawyer, it's looking like. That's sad, man. First daughter's birthday or son's birthday, he turned one, and they they can't celebrate the daughter's or the son's birthday because, man, this is this is absolutely sad, man. I don't know. I don't understand why what what clicks in people's brains to like do this stuff. I I could just never understand it, man. I don't know how you could be this mad, this upset to try to take somebody's life in that way, especially when it comes down to someone that is your spouse and someone that you have a child with. Insane, man. Insane. Some of y'all people just built different out there, man. For real. It's from Nepal, and she was last seen at work on July 27th. A friend reported speaking to her on the 28th, and her husband told police he last saw his wife on July 31st. But the case was elevated to a critical missing persons case on August 8th, and last night, this story took a turn. If they're going to do it tonight, I don't know. Is she dead or alive? She's so. alive or she's dead? A frustrated and worried community showed up at a news conference with the police chief and shouted questions. All you hear is Nepalese voices. Honestly, that's all you hear. And I, I, I work with a Nepalese man, so he, he hooked me up with this story. But at the same time, I, he got an accent. He got an accent, and that sound like an accent right there. The Nepalese community, they move like soldiers, man. They are tight. They are tight. They don't play around, man. With each other, they they got each other's back a hundred percent, man. And it's showing right here, man. It's showing. These people want to know. They want answers. They feel bad for their family. They feel bad for their sister that they just can't find. They can't even find her. This is unbelievable, man. This is this is trash. This is bad behavior. Let's continue. Question after question until the chief said on the record for the first time that Mamta's husband was a person of interest. No, the husband is not cooperating. Today, after the husband was taken away in cuffs, the chief refused to answer questions. Has Mr. Bot been charged? Has Mr. Bot been charged with a crime? Earlier this month, members of the local Nepalese community and her co-workers organized several searches for Mamta. Today, many of them gathered again outside of the police station to keep pressure on the search for their friend and colleague. We have been working literally around the clock since August 5th to put pressure on the police and get tips generated. And I think the combination of those things has resulted in what we saw today. While it appears the case is moving forward, lost in the middle, a one-year-old girl whose father is now in custody in connection to the disappearance of her mother. Thanks for watching. That's so tough, man. And, and, and this is... 
this is the hard part about being a police officer is because now everybody's looking at you to try to save the day and you to try to get all the answers and you just trying to figure out this whole thing for yourself because y'all don't really know what, what happened. Y'all don't know what's going on. Everybody's in the same boat right now, except for maybe the husband. Of course, this is all uh, not guilty until proven guilty. But, you know, this is, in this situation, he is being detained. He's being arrested because we got to figure stuff out at this point. What happened? Let's hear the timeline. They're running their investigation now. And we're going to find out the truth eventually. At least they're praying that they're going to find out the truth. And I'm praying for it too, man. I hope y'all find her. I hope y'all find her alive and I hope life goes on and I hope this is all a big misunderstanding. But of course, the reality of the situation is she's been missing for over 22 days and uh, they cannot find her body anywhere. 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 Unbelievable, man. Let me know y'all thoughts about this, man, down below. Um, praying for this family, praying for the one year old that is going to really suffer out of all of this. Um, this is, this is absolutely nonsense. This is garbage, man. But until next time, hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button if y'all are new. It's your boy D got sauce, man. Peace.